from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late today across the board from the shores of Santa Monica, California for August 23rd, 2022. A new report out today says that 50% of employers are going to lay you off this year while the breaking details across the board. Then another major fall, and that came from Zoom. The online chat Zoom platform fell dramatically. In corporate earnings announced today, down 14%. It falls as a series of major falls across the board. In new corporate earnings this week, we'll have the latest details across the board. Your benefits could be going up a lot, and we have new data about that today. From the housing industry, and also on salaries and yes on rent if rent is pulling back on how much your benefits are going up this is big because rent is part of inflation rent is part of that cpi and we're looking at the latest details on that today from the shores of santa monica california new data from housing today signaling the housing recession is fully underway what is it is existing home sales and they're down a lot in one month We'll go over the latest details across the board and what you need to know. Plus, we'll be looking at the inflation out of Europe and why that's indication that it could be going higher and not lower across the board in the United States. And the other breaking news, of course, is those wonderful new seven stimulus checks that became a law last two weekends ago. They're in addition to the three great stimulus checks that viewers have been getting since the month of March. And they're not just checks, they're categories of checks. Now, 10 categories of checks are being made to viewers of this channel. Members, I'm gonna show you how to get these incredible checks in the big recording today. Plus, the major news developed and broke on this channel no less than six, ago, six months ago. In February, I told you the president would be giving $10,000 of student loan debts to individuals who make $150,000 or less. Today, NBC announced that story as their exclusive. Yes, all the link details on that story, which I reported to you six months ago. It's happening right today and could be happening by August 31st. 31st, from the shores of Santa Monica, California, and from the White House, the breaking news starts right here, right now, on a big afternoons for a big recording of August 23rd. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day across the board. It is a big day for your money, for your benefits, and for your student loan debt forgiveness. It was no less than the month of February when I first reported to you on this channel that the president had internally made a determination on his own that he's going to forgive $10,000 of individual debts for, for individuals who have federal student loan debts and their income levels 150000 or less. I report that in the month of February. I also said that the president had internally made this determination, but he was still meeting with advocates who wanted to forgive more debt, who wanted more debt forgiven, and that he was going to roll over the determination. He did, and then I told you a few weeks ago, he had an August 31st inherent deadline, which he announced publicly, that he was going to make a determination about that student loan debt by August 31st. What happened in the last 24 to 48 hours? The last 24 to 48 hours, the White House specifically said the president will make a determination by August 31st. So suddenly it pivoted. In the last 24 to 48 hours, it went from he'll make the determination sometime, but his inherent deadline is August 31st, but he could still roll it over to the fall, to now the White House confirming the determination would come by August 31st. That was a major, major announcement by the White House. So what did NBC say today? Exclusive. The president's going to make an announcement by August 31st. Well, we already knew that. The White House said that. And that he's going to forgive $10,000 for individuals who make approximately $150,000 less. Um, I said that since the month of February. <laughs> That's, my friends, why you want to tune to this channel. Because you don't hear news in August that has been reported on this channel in February. 
<laughs> what else happened in the last 24 hours? In the last 24 hours, on Monday, the Wall Street uh, activity just shocked people but should not have shocked you. Wall Street crashed dramatically yesterday. Now down 650 to 700 points the Dow Jones. And I told you it was going to happen. I told you all last weekend. I told you all last Thursday and Friday. Why? Because there was a problem. And the problem was that the Wall Street analysts, specifically stock analysts, stock traders, not bond traders, were saying that the Federal Reserve is going to do a 50 or 75 basis point increase in September at the September FOMC meeting. And that's it. There was going to be no more interest rate spikes. The Federal Reserve goes going to pivot or change policy. It had a lot of different expressions for this. Basically, one more interest rate spike, and that was it, September. I said, they're not going to do that. <laughs> they're not going to do that because they've already told you what they're going to do. They've already told you, whether it's Bauman, Boulard, or Daly, that they're going to do interest rate spikes consecutively until they get inflation down to 2%. It's 8.5%. It doesn't drop to 2% in, 20, in 24 days. It doesn't drop to 2% in 60 days with one interest rate spike. So that was sort of crazy what Wall Street said. And what did I say? What did I say all weekend long, last weekend? I said there's a problem. The problem is because I'm the only one reporting that the Federal Reserve is going to do 75 basis point every month to December. And I'm worried. I'm worried for you. I'm worried for Americans. I'm worried for stock owners. Why? Because Wall Street has not embedded the risk of future interest rate spikes past September. And with that not embedding the risk into the markets, the market will crash. I said the stock market's going to ha- crash is going to happen. Because Wall Street is betting on an event that's never going to formulate. They're betting on one interest rate spike in September, and that's it. And that the, and the Federal Reserve is done. And then guess what happened yesterday? <laughs> Wall Street crash. It's two days in a row where I'm predicting exactly what's going to happen, and it happened. Why did Wall Street crash yesterday? Because they realized that when Jay Powell speaks this Friday at the Jackson Hole conference, he's likely to say what the other governors have said. Consecutive interest rate spikes until we get inflation down to 2%, and we're likely to stay at where we are for the interest rate spikes from the month of June and July, which was 75 basis points. This is very basic stuff, folks. This is not advanced. And yet, Wall Street got it really wrong, and that's why Wall Street crashed. And NBC News, you know, congratulations for claiming you have an exclusive. You don't. I've been featuring that forgiveness of $10,000 to individuals to make $150,000 less, or one hundred twenty. It's basically the same number. And uh, and when the White House announces the announcement's coming by August 31st, then you're just combining a public announcement with <laughs> what I've been reporting since February. It's not exclusive to NBC News. <laughs> the, it's for someone else. It's exclusive. What's happening today, in addition to all this, um, in addition to that, that student loan debt forgiveness, there are reports that the president will still keep the moratorium on, 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 on until September. Uh, or until the fall midterm elections. <laughs> and who also reported that? I did over the last three days. You know, uh, Let's go on to something else. Let's, is there something I haven't reported on that maybe I got wrong? <laughs> oh, let's try that. Yeah, let's try t- Let's try Thursday. <laughs> Unemployment claims. Maybe I'll get this one wrong. I, mean, I feel like I want to get something wrong because everything has been so accurate on this channel down to the minute. Unemployment claims fell last week from 260 to 250. Uh, I had said it was going to go to 265, so I got that wrong. Am I going to get it wrong again this week? Uh, we will see. Actually, I've not predicted this out. I'll predict it tomorrow on Wednesday on this channel. Let's go over that that big benefit raise if you're on SSI, SSDI, and Social Security and Rural Benefits. Well, we had that shocking report out of England yesterday um, from City. Citibank, that said England next year is going to have 18% inflation. Oh my goodness. 18% CPI, 18%, 19% retail sales. Wow. How can we be going down? Well, we haven't gone down dramatically yet, So, but that's the focus of the Federal Reserve gains of 2% later this year. How can we be going down to 2% if Citibank believes England is going up to 18%? My goodness. Now remember, your benefits are tied to inflation. And the white and, and the United States is a very symbiotic relationship to England. So we'll be tracking that story. Of course, we'll be tracking inflation here in the United States. What's a very good indication of inflation? What's a very good in- indication of recession? It's the earnings in the United States. 
and those uh, earnings recessions heated up today as well. A lot of corporations reported earnings today or downward guided for the rest of this year. We are now nearly complete, finished with the corporate earnings for second quarter of this year. But one of the last companies to report, uh, we have a few more later this week, but one of the last companies to report was Zoom, and it fell 14%, ouch, <laughs> in one day, when it missed revenue badly. And uh, while Q2 suffers as many of our concerns of recent downgrades, um, we underestimated the severity, wrote the CEO, uh, CFO Kelly Stackelberg in a comment today. It was much worse than we feared. Uh, when a CFO refers to their own revenues as feared, that's uh, very significant. Overall, the pullback was profitability, said that individual. Now, it was not all bad news. Macy's department store Yes, <laughs> get out the parade, because their stock was up 4% today. Wow, as it beat on top and bottom. You know, um, I think I featured Macy's for Q1 earnings. Remember what happened for Q1? Macy's and Nordstrom beat really well. Remember that story earlier this year? The concept was that you got back to work after lockdown, and you needed nicer clothes to wear to work. And that is why Nordstrom, where you buy a suit or a nice pair of shoes, and Macy's were up dramatically. Uh, how about Dick's Sporting Goods? Now, this is a one where if you try to predict this, you'll get it wrong. The concept is you're not going out camping anymore unless you're one of the viewers. <laughs> she knows who she is. She loves to glam camp with her, with her daughters. Uh, she knows who she, who she knows she is. She's probably on the live chat right now. Uh, you're not camping as much because you're back to work. Um, uh, you are not outdoors because you're back to work. That basically sporting's good was more in a lockdown play. Well, you, if you said that, you got it wrong, because <laughs> Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, which, of course, includes features a lot of sporting items, was up 2% across the board. That's interesting. Maybe the concept was uh, the professional sports are back uh, playing dramatically, and you need the fav your favorite baseball team or uh, football team's jersey. Interesting. Maybe you're dating, because <laughs> JD was up. Um, that's interesting. And maybe you were smuckering. <laughs> when you smuckering, keep it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know the viewer yes, sir keep it keep up um, keep your bacon smuckery to yourself <laughs> shares of smuckers were up smuckers were up three percent i guess people are really smuckering a lot lately uh i will leave it at that <laughs> try to keep this a very g-rated family show um unemployment wow a new report says and this is a shocker 50% of employers, employers, not employees, 50% of employers believe that they will be laying people off. Ouch. Really? That is just dramatic. And that's sort of part of the course where we talk about unemployment on this channel. Can you imagine? 50% believe that they will be laying off their employees uh, in the new weeks of this year. The new report is out of PCW, a survey of 722 executives in the month of August, so just days ago. Of course, Apple, Best Buy, Walmart, and Ford are among the companies that have laid off massive employees. I featured Ford's laid off yesterday. Ford, I believe, was at 3,000. I featured yesterday on this channel. Wow. And then let's jump over to inflation again, because this impacts your benefits. This impacts your benefits. What is the data today on inflation? Well, it's rent. Remember, we learned this as a family. I never do this. I learned something from this channel as much as you do. Rent comprises 30% of the inflationary benchmark, CPI. Did you not know this? So if the landlords are charging more in rent, then the CPI goes up. If the landlords are charging less in rent, then the CPI goes down. And that's 30% of the CPI is, is comprised for rent. So what do we have today? Rent rose 0.8% in the month of June to July. That's what we've been talking about. Though we don't see rent going down, but it's relatively flat. That's less than 1%. On an annualized basis, they're up 12.2%. And that is compared to month to month in the, uh, June. They're up 13.8%. So that's interesting. It is cooling off. June year to date, 13.8%, 14% up year to date in the month of June. July year to date, 12%. So that's 2% down. Very interesting. Is rent falling? Not yet. It's relatively flat. But I got to tell you, 
This is indication for your benefits because if the rent can't go up anymore, this may be about as high as it can go for the moment. Here's a fascinating quote. Uh, Alexander Gorfarb at Piper Sandler. Say that three times fast. Alexander Gorfarb at Piper Sandler, managing director, says the Sun Belt never had COVID discounts. <laughs> I just love that quote. Never had COVID discounts for what? For rent. Um, basically said the rent never dropped during COVID in the Sun Belt states. Everyone's just willing to pay in that city. But we found this all about Sun Belt. Rents just grew faster and rent as a percentage of income. And it just kept on growing across the board. When Sun Belt states are willing to pay more, costs are staggering. So he basically said the rents went up during COVID and they never came down. That was not the case across the country. Rents went down during COVID. That's why they're up this year so dramatically across the board. So with that, let's go to your benefits. Your benefits are going up a lot. Wow. Lifetime benefits. And this is why we call it lifetime stimulus. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. If your benefits went up 10% this year, that would mean not just 10% this year. It would be lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, no, they would never go down. If, let's say, inflation is 2% next year, then they would be 2% on top of the existing benefits. And who is this? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. What is it determined upon inflation in the month of July, August, and September? Let's go over what's at issue. Back in July, the CPI beat, the BPI, PPI beat, and the retail sales beat. What's the CPI? That's how much you pay for goods. The Consumer Price Index, milk and eggs. What is the PPI? The PPI is what the wholesaler buys, like the supermarket, what they pay for products, and the retail sales is, of course, what you spend overall. Now, why is this important? This is important because guess what happened? In the month of May, that CPI went up dramatically. What happened with that CPI in the month of May? Well, let's look at the numbers. It was a whopping 8.6% in the month of May. That is staggeringly high. That is massive inflation. But it wasn't done there. Then in the month of June, it went even higher. How high? From an 8.6% print in the month of May to a whopping 9.1%. And we were waiting to see what would happen thereafter because your benefits are going up with these massive inflationary numbers. So let's go over the, how this calculates and let's go over the specific numbers for you. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment, C-O-L-A. And it's determined by another number, the CPI-W for the month of May, the month of July, August to September. Yes, the CPI is a dash W is a subsection of the CPI, which we just went over. And that number for the CPI for July, released last week, August, released September 10th, and September released in October, determines how much your benefits are going up. So that CPI in the month of July last week pulled back a little bit on the high end number. But we understand it basically has to say the same or go higher, and your benefits are going up a lot. Now, let's go over how much. $5,000, some of you, yes. Some of you more, absolutely. Some of you less, yes. SSI, SSDI, Social Security Real Benefits, direct deposit, automatic, yes, otherwise in the mail, however you get your checks. And this is huge. Now let's go over to the calculation of this money starting right now. The Seniors League, when look at the situation, said when that CPI print came in last week at 8.5%, they predicted the inflation, they predicted your benefits to go up 10.1%. Let's say that again. For a CPI that came in at 8.5%, they're saying your benefits will go up 10.1%. Do I agree or do I think that's a little conservative? Well, if I believe that salaries are stable and or going up, rent, milk and eggs, and also gasoline between now and the next 60 days, because we only have two more months to endure, then I think the number is a little bit conservative. I think it could be higher across the board. What do you think? Jump in the live chat. Do you believe that the salaries, the rent, which of course is 30%, the milk and eggs, and also the gasoline is going to stabilize where it is right now or go higher? 
If you believe that, then your benefits are going up a little bit more than even 10.1%. Of course, there's a lot of us ways for us to do this. Number one, the practical way. Just look at the supermarket. Look at the price of milk and egg over the next 60 days. Next, look at the price of gasoline. We've already seen that go higher in the last seven days. If you remember this channel, it's been in the membership newsletter nightly. And it was a 92 international price of Brent crude early this week. It's already 98. That was quick. And then uh, any of the other products, any of the other issues at subparts of, these, of, the, of inflation, if you believe they're tracking higher or about the same, then you believe it's on the conservative side. And there you go. That is why you want to become a member of this channel. The President of the United States has that inherent deadline he set for himself for student loan debt forgiveness of a big August 31st, 2022. And $10,000 for individuals who make $150,000 less was something the President made a determination on a long time ago. So what happened this week? What happened this week is the president basically did exactly what I told you he was going to do. He was going to meet with more advocates about student loan debt forgiveness who wanted him to do more money. And ultimately, I knew he was going to say no. And that's exactly what he did. And exactly those are the quotes that came out today, what you expect for them to say. They basically said $10,000 is not enough. The comments that came from the National Association, uh, the NAA, NAACP today, Chuck Schumer, uh, Wisden Cole, and others who said that $10,000 is a slap in the face. Those comments came out today, and that's not a surprise. Uh, Chuck Schumer has been asking for 50000 50, since the first day of the administration. In fact, before the, the president was even sworn in, the president has consistently said, no, I'm not doing that. So this was not a surprise across the board. The big news and the big excitement is for you. Lots of incredible checks. How much? Ten categories of checks have now become a law. And this huge, incredible news will be going over in the big second half. Yes, ten categories categories of checks. We'll go over each of these categories of checks. And how many checks is it? It's nearly 200 checks. It's nearly 200 checks over 10 categories. And viewers are beginning the th first three categories of checks since the month of March on this channel. In the big second half, we'll go over the first three categories. Then we'll go over the next seven categories. We'll go over how you get them and how you go down in pounds as a purple hawk. Step one, you become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Count, Sino, VIP. Step two, you stay in the big second half as we go over these incredible checks. And step three, you get ready to pounce. <laughs> we'll go over all this incredible money in the big second half, plus my commentary on stimulus. You haven't seen this in a while. And also my thoughts on the student loan debt forgiveness situation. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as America's most beloved show at the midday continues. It's afternoons. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA.
And the excitement continues right now in a beautiful second half of August 23rd, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. There's now 10 categories of forced stimulus checks. The first three done in the month of March, and this next seven categories done by Congress just a week ago. We'll go over these 10 categories of checks that are upwards of 200 checks. In this big second half, we're going to go over each of the individual checks one at a time. Did you become a member? You need to become a member. They're featured all in the membership newsletter. The membership newsletter delivers you the application links, delivers you all the details of what these checks are, and delivers you everything you need to know. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. Go into this video and join this channel right now. And with that, let's go over these big, bold, beautiful checks in this big second half. How are you? Hope you have a beautiful day across the board. Back in the month of March, the President of the United States passed a series of executive actions, which established the first three categories of checks, which I affectionately call Check A, Check B, and Check C. At the time, viewers were saying, I like, can you find me some checks? And I did. Three focuses for me at the time. One, big checks. I wanted you to get up over $100,000 because you're going to have two years of recession. I was the first to report this economy is going to recession. I reported that last February. Number two, broad eligibility because I want you to get it. I want to make sure you get it. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, and you're not on benefits, go get it across the board. And with that, let's look at these incredible first three checks. They're huge. Let's remember, this is from the federal government. It's not coming from your state. It's not paid by your state. In fact, the first, second, and third stimulus were all from the federal government. They weren't paid from the state. It wasn't state money. And let's look at those incredible sums of money across the board starting right now. The first three checks, check A, B, and C, were made law by executive action back in the month of March. Executive action is the federal government. About $100,000 passed by executive action, the President of the United States federal law, in the month of March. Huge sums of money. These are check A, they are check B, and they are check C. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it across the board. How do you get these incredible checks? You become a member. Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. Go right on this video, become a member. Then get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go into the newsletter and go get check A, check B, and check C. How does that work? We're going to go over that right now. We're going to go over the first three checks, check A, check B, and check C, starting right now. Check A is a wonderful $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. It's called the Weatherizing Grant. And how do you get it? Step one, you go under the video, join the channel. Step two, go down and become a member. Where it says, uh, step two, become a member. Step one, become a member. Step two, get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Then go into that membership newsletter, go down to check A. <laughs> there it is. Click the link and go right into the nationwide website. Choose your state and choose the Weatherizing Grant. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000. Wow. It's a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. And how do you get this wonderful check? You go down under this video. Join the channel. So simple. Join the channel. Then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to where it says check B in the newsletter for members. And then click the link. It sends you into the nice wide website. Choose your state. And pounce. Look at that. Check B and check A. That's $100,000 right there. We're not done yet. We're going to go get check C. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And yeah, there's a lot of checks. Viewers are getting twenty four dollars to 45000 even more. And how to get this wonderful check C's? These categories of checks are in the membership newsletter at Check C. It's for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Go down to Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. So simple across the board. Now, what's incredible to remember and important to remember is that Check A, Check B, and Check C are categories of checks. Check A is really a category, but almost like one check. Check B, however, is not one check. Cat, check B category has almost 100 checks in there. You're going to meet a viewer in a second who got 80 checks into check B. Check C is not one check. Check C, average view of this channel in the last few weeks, have been getting 14 months of check C. 14 months of 
five, uti- five bills per month, <laughs> you could do the math. That's not one check. That's a lot of checks. Met Plus, the membership newsletter, you got 12 places to reach out for Check C. Oh boy, 12 places to reach out to, five checks a month over 18, over 14 months. Yeah, that's a lot of possible checks. And those are check A, B, and C. We're not done there yet. Two weekends ago, Congress passed the wonderful new check E, F, H, J, and K. And as soon as it became a law, I immediately featured in the membership newsletter that night. In fact, I've had a primetime special on this channel as soon as it became law. That's why you got to become a member because you can't miss when something is announced. What is check E? Check E is $7,500. What is check F? $4,000. What is check G? 30% off. What is check H? $2,000. What is check I? For $8,000. What is check J? $8,000. What is check K? $14,000. Wow. The education sec, excuse me, the energy secretary appeared on broadcast media on Sunday and specifically spoke about these checks. She did not lose the same lettering system, but she specifically spoke about them. And this is how she phrased it. You want this paid? Go get it. We're paying it. You want this paid? Go get it. We're paying it. You want this paid? Go get it. We're paying it. Sound familiar? That's exactly what I've been recording on this channel for several months. Go get the incredible money. When we look at Check C, wow, we've been featuring this on this channel for a long time. Over two years, this channel's gotten people $50 million, but Check C has been a lot of that. Let's look at some of the success stories for Check C. My goodness. This for rent. And it's just incredible. When you look at this incredible money for rent, look at that. It's from twenty dollars to $30,000 up to Elizabeth. You want that? Go get Check C and look at the monies for utilities. My goodness. Incredible. Mark's brother-in-law got 15000 and that same brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. Combinations of checks, huge. From this to even more. Now, Nisi was at 23000 now she's at 50000 Mark was at 32000 then. Then he got more, went to fifty. Then he got hundred. Then he got check B, 166 Here's Lorraine, she was at 105 and then she went to 155 What do you do to get this incredible sums of money? Step one, go on this video become a member. Join this channel right now where it says join the channel, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. You can join LA1, LA2, or LA3, any of those three channels, and you'll get the membership newsletter from them. Number two, subscribe. Subscribe to LA1, LA2, and LA3. Number three, make sure you hit that bell on the front of this channel to make sure all notifications set to all on. And I want to thank the wonderful members of this channel. I want to thank the wonderful new members of the new channels. LA2 and LA3 launched two days ago. LA2 yesterday got its first double member, double hawk. Paul became the first double hawk of this LA family. He is now a member of LA1 and LA2. Congratulations, the first double hawk of this incredible broadcasting family. Then I also want to thank... Um, Kiwanis, who became the first member of Ally 2. Just incredible great news across the board. Become a member and get these incredible sums of money across the board. Now, one of the benefits of becoming a member is not just the membership newsletter, but also what's in there. The membership newsletter, of course, has the price of gasoline nightly, international price of Brent crude, and also domestic AAA, has the price of corn and wheat to give you a sense of supply chain disruption, also has everything about fist, uh, the benefit raises we went over early in this recording, the student loan debt forgiveness, and it also features this, the worksheets. The worksheets have been big winners. We'll go over why it's been a big winner for viewers in a second. Viewers have been using these worksheets, have been helping them get the stimulus because you're going to be applying for 100 to 200 checks. You've got to keep track of it. Let's go over the first page of the worksheets. Where, this, where is this in the newsletter, around the third page? It's a PDF. You can print it out or save it on your phone or take notes on a separate piece of paper if you don't have a printer. Line one, inflation, page one. What do we know tonight? We know that Jay Powell will be speaking Friday at the Jackson Halls will be the most important statement about inflation and certainly the Federal Reserve of the entire week, potentially the entire month. He's going to say exactly what I predict him to say. We're dedicating inflation down. Target inflation is 2%. Interest rate spikes until we get it down, starting September again, and likely to have the same interest rate spikes we had in prior meetings, which of course was 75 basis point in July and also June. Recession. 
We'll have a lot more about this on Enies LA tonight, but the comments again from the National Association of Home Builders, Chief Economists, today is you're in a housing recession. And the full extent of this economy is in a recession as well. Labor, well, we learned today that 50% of employees, employers believe they're going to lay off their employees. It was a few nights ago I featured on this channel that a lot of employees believe they're going to get laid off at some point this year. Wow. And then the Federal Reserve. This is why Wall Street crashed yesterday. 650 to almost 700 points. Because all last week, especially last weekend, I said Wall Street's in for a big crash. Why? Because they've not embedded the risk of interest rate spikes from the Federal Reserve at the month, after the month of September and a 75 basis point. And I said they're going to do 75 every single month until at least December. Well, Wall Street's not up at all significantly today either. <laughs> Let's look at the second page of the worksheets. Now, this second page of the worksheet is delivering people a lot of big, great news. Last week, a viewer got 14 months of rent. Earlier that week, another viewer got 14 months of rent. Earlier that week, another viewer got 12 months of utilities. Spelly got check A and check C, and one viewer out of Florida got 80 to 100 checks. Oh, my goodness. If you had a success story, post it in the live chat, and especially, especially send to me on facebook.com forward slash LA news. Lynn Glenn sent me a message. She got rent as well. This page is a page for you to keep track of all the checks you're applying for, because you'll be applying for 100 to 200 checks. There's a lot of checks. I know this only has about 20 rows. So that's how how much this channel expanded in just a few weeks. Print extra copies of this page to keep track. Now, that viewer got that message from the state of Florida two Thursdays ago. Said, ma'am, you've been approved for check me. Oh, I forgot I applied for it. Yeah, she, she filled out the form. She put out the, the worksheets, but she forgot she had it. She went to go look. It was for mortgage assistance. Wow. 18 months? Oh, my goodness. That's tens of thousands of dollars. Now, she also applied for utilities. About four to five utilities a month? Well, let's say it's four plus the mortgage. That's five checks a month. Five checks a month times 18 months? My goodness. Bless her. That's 81 or checks. You could do that as well. The next two pages of this worksheet? Well, the last page is the student. Oh, don't forget it. You know I'm laughing. Because that these worksheets have been around since when? Um... I think I've had these worksheets around two months, and I've been featuring student loan debt forgiveness on this channel for uh, since day one of the Biden administration. Actually, since the transition days of the Biden administration. And I told you almost the first month into the administration, he was going to do $10,000 for individuals to make $150,000 less. Yesterday, I said he was going to roll this over into the fall, uh, into the fall. But since that recording, the White House's press secretary said, no, he's going to make a determination by August 31st. We already knew that was a deadline for him that he self-imposed. Gasoline, gasoline's tracking up higher. This is because of increasing demand, less production. We'll feature this more tonight on Evening's LLA. Finally, some commentary for me, and also we'll be going back to some stimulus. Commentary for me. You've been doing a great job. I'm so proud of you. You're doing a really great job in recent days. First, you're getting more months of checks. When I first started featuring these checks two years ago on this channel, in what we call purple, people were getting, and because I was, while I was recording, I said two to three months of, of, of checks. Two to three months. And now I say get another round. Then about a year later, people started getting more months of checks. I said, oh, well, maybe you don't need multiple rounds because you're getting so many checks. And I think at the time, we were about eight months of checks that people were getting. Well, that is far now over because you have taken that and gone even bigger and bolder. You're now getting on average about 14 months of these checks, 14 months of utilities, 14 months of rent, 14 months of mortgage assistance. That is the huge success story you're getting across the board. So I really want to congratulate you. I want to really congratulate you about keeping it positive, keeping it motivated, congratulating one each other. Uh, investing in one another's livelihood, knowing what's going on with other members of the Purple Power community, that's the love that this channel generates. I'm so excited for you. Now, amidst that, there's often things I see in the live chat, and I haven't often addressed them, but I want to see, I saw some stuff yesterday that I want to address, some of the sort of funny, <laughs> and then some of it not so funny. Uh, so one viewer in the live chat last night, uh, I can't remember what show it was. Oh, stream so much, stream so much. One viewer last night at the seven o'clock show said, what about for, is there a check uh, landing for people that just, you know, don't do anything? Uh, I said, excuse me, <laughs> don't do anything. What do you mean? Well, and basically the viewer explained and took pride in 
that they're lazy. <laughs> the viewer was proud of their lazy. And the viewer basically said, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to make a call. I just don't want to do anything. I said, no, lazy people don't get anything. Why do you think lazy people are entitled to something? No, lazy people don't get anything. And um, I didn't call that viewer lazy, but I said in general, lazy people don't get anything. That's what the energy secretary was speaking about last week. If you want money for this, come and get it. We'll pay for it. If you want money for this, come and get it. We'll pay for it. The energy secretary doesn't know you by name. <laughs> The energy secretary deals with energy, but she doesn't have um, telepathic energy. <laughs> so she doesn't know she wants, she does not know you want something unless you go get it. She's energy secretary, not telepathic energy secretary. So <laughs> that's what we've been featured on this channel for two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah, you got to pick up the phone. You got to do something. And that's why there's membership. That's why people have done such incredible success stories across the board on this channel. Next, um, today in the live show, when I was preparing to go on air, someone wrote the following comment. Uh, this is what the viewer wrote. I checked, it's not law yet. What? <laughs> I don't know what that comment meant. Uh, lobster shorts, national holiday. <laughs> I love bacon, a national holiday. I don't know what that comment meant. Uh, I, <laughs> what do you think that comment meant? Uh, yeah, no. Um, kiss a lobster day. <laughs> Kentucky Senator Appreciation Day. I don't know what that comment meant. But I do not like the comment. I do not like the comment. The comment basically can be read to mean 20 negative things. There's nothing really positive about the comment. The comment, you know, I think about, I read the comment, I'm like, Okay, he's referring to something he's watching the video. What part of the video is he at? I, and I'm trying to think. Uh, I thought he maybe he's referring to the seven stimulus checks that were passed by Congress last weekend, two weekends ago. And I thought, well, maybe he's referring to something else. Uh, maybe he's referring to, I don't know what he's referring to. Comments like that are not allowed on this channel. The reason I'm bringing this up is comments are like that is, are not allowed on this channel. It's a, it's a violation of the chat policies, and uh, for that viewer, I just deleted the comment. But if I was in another mood, I would just ban the viewer. I would have banned the viewer on the spot. It's a violation of the chat policy as a comment. Don't do it. Chat policies of, the, of this channel are posted on a regular basis, sent to you as a member. One, negativity, negativity is not allowed. Two, bashing the volunteers. Three, bashing the host, which I don't think he was doing, but there's a lot of negativity in that comment. Or posting false facts. Last night in another live show, one of the following viewers wrote this. And this was clearly in regards to your benefit raises. The viewer said, benefit raises, they always say they're going to get around to it. They're never going to get around to this benefit raise. Okay, so that's someone that's clearly not listening to the video or has listened to the videos posting false facts. Let's repeat. Your benefits go up based upon COLA. This is the law. And COLA is tied to CPI-W. That's the law. And that the COLA tracking to CPI-W currently has the first month in. The first month has already been coming in, came in last week. It came in at 8.5 is the headline number. That means based upon that number, you're going up about 9 to 10%. If that number is the same in the month of August, September. It's not a promise. It's already the law. Now, false that comments like that are pure violations of the chat policy of this channel. If you're new to this, and that was actually a member, and the other comment, all the two comments I posted before, with the exception of the viewers who says I'm lazy, that's what's clearly not a member. These are violations of chat policies. Don't do it. I mean, don't do it. What happens if you violate chat policies? The comments either deleted, you're put into timeout, or you're banned. And if you're banned, you get no benefits to this channel ever again. Some people like to say I'm in good standing. If you're banned, you're not in good standing. You're banned. You're banned. And you're gone. So, you know, I don't want to ban people, uh, but I also don't want you posting false facts. Please do not post false facts. False facts can be involved things like um, the senator from Kentucky is really popular. <laughs> you know what false facts are. I don't have to tell you that. Uh, there's a lot of bacon on set. Really false facts. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, there's so much bacon, I'm always really happy about the abundance of bacon on set. False fact. 
<laughs> the check will wave at you at the big beach. Very false fact. <laughs> so please do not post them in the live chat. We're here to help each other, and we're not here to post negativity or false information. Become a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, you know, VIP. We got more shows coming up throughout the day and on this channel. Yes, so uh, August 31st, we are just days away. Now, let me tell you what that comment is um, happening left and right. That comment is that the president would forgive the student loan debt forgiveness by Wednesday, August 24th, not by August 31st. I want to make that very clear to you because this is sort of a separate distinction across the board. The White House says that the president will make a determination by August 31st. The reporting today is that the comment, the determination, the announcement, the announcement will be by Wednesday, August 24th. Now, the reporting on this channel since February is the, the determination has been made since February. The determination of $10,000 for individual to make $150,000 or less for federal debt will be forgiven. And what was made by determination by the president in February, he just never announced it. Now, there's some reporting that says it won't be 150, it won't be 132, and you're probably asking all the questions I'm asking. Which year is the income determined? Is it the year of this year that you're income? What if it's next year? Remember, the president also forgave individuals' debts who became disabled after graduation, people who went to work in the nonprofit or public sector, and people who were defrauded by the university. Those debts are already forgiven. To learn more about them, go to the Department of Education's website and look under the press releases from Miguel Cardona. Ultimately, if you want to know when the announcement comes up, you should watch that education, the Department of Education's website. Because when the president says, I'm going to have a press conference tomorrow, uh, the 24th, or the week after that, August 31st, that's likely to be the announcement. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, there's a lot coming up tonight on evenings. I look forward to you joining me then. Don't forget to become a member. Get these 10 categories of checks. 10 categories of checks, nearly 200 different possible checks today as quickly as you can. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Allies for More.